In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use drivers to create interactive animations in drama. We have a single scene with a yellow card layer inside this document. This layer contains a slider with a knob, a text layer to indicate temperature, and a snowflake icon. Let me show how to add a very simple interaction to this scene. First, I'll select the card layer, which currently has no behavior as indicated in the inspector. I'll change that to draggable X and Y so that when I launch the simulator, the layer can be dragged around. Just like this. And when I change behavior to draggable X, I can still drag the card layer around, but only along the X axis. Okay. But let's change this back to no behavior for now. Now I'll demonstrate how to add more complex interactions using drivers, which specify how changes in one layer affect other layers. You can do this by accessing the driver editor by clicking on the Edit Drivers button. And here's the driver editor, which is currently empty because we have no drivers. You could add a new driver by clicking here, but I'll show you another way. When you change the behavior of the card layer back to draggable X, a new driver will be added automatically. Let's talk about what a driver actually is. When you drag this layer along the X axis in the simulator, you're changing its left attribute here. After making a layer draggable, you often want to use the layer's position as a driver. That's why after we made the layer draggable along the x-axis, the left attribute was automatically added as a driver for our convenience. This purple capsule here is the driver itself, which is the left attribute of the layer named card. And the value of this driver is currently 200 which is the same value that you can see in the inspector for the left attribute. Grab this value and move it around, and you'll notice that it always remains in sync with the value in the inspector. So this value line is simply another way of displaying the value of your layer's driver attribute. Here below, you can add driver dependencies, which are other layer attributes that automatically change when this driver above changes. So let's add such dependency here. I want the card's rotation Y to change when its left position changes. So I'll pick the rotation Y from here. And you can see that a new dependency has appeared. And you can read it like this. The left attribute of the card layer will drive changes in the rotation Y attribute of the same card layer. When the left attribute is 200, the rotation will be zero. Let's add some more keyframes. I will scroll this around. You can do this using your touchpad or by shift scrolling. And you can also zoom here with your touchpad or by command scrolling. And I'll move this value to 350. And now I want to change rotation to minus 80 degrees, just like this. I have now told Drama that when the left attribute is 350, the rotation should be minus 80 degrees. And when the left attribute is 200, the rotation should be 0 degrees and this will already work in the simulator. When I drag the layer around, you can now see that its rotation and position are linked. Let's add some more keyframes. I'll zoom out and move this value here. You can also change the value by double-clicking and simply inputting new value like this. Here I want rotation Y to be 80, so I'll just drag to change the value. Okay, now you can see in the simulator that the card rotates both ways as I drag around. Let's move the card back to the center so it's easier to work with. Now that we know how they work, I'm going to add some more drivers. I'll select the knob layer and make it draggable along the y-axis. And you can see that another new driver has appeared from the top attribute of the knob layer. And we can already play with this in the simulator by dragging the knob around. Now, I want this card to change fill color when I drag the knob around. So I'll make sure the card layer is selected and add a dependency for the attribute fill color of the card layer. The dependency has appeared. So when the knob's top value is zero, the fill color should be yellow. Let's zoom out. I'll drag the value here. When the knob is down like this, I want the color to be blue to indicate cold temperatures.
You can also add more keyframes by double clicking like this. And if I double click the keyframe now, I can change the color right here. I'll change it to red. When I play with the simulator now, you can see that as I drag the knob, the card changes color from blue through red to yellow like this. So again, when the knob position is 200, the color should be blue. And when the knob position is around 100, red. And when the knob position is zero, yellow. Now, I would also like this text changes to reflect the knob's position and indicate temperature. So I'll select that and add another dependent attribute for text. The text attribute of the temperature layer will therefore depend on the knob top driver. So when the knob is at the top, the temperature will show 50 degrees. And when at the bottom, minus 20 degrees, like this. Finally, as I only want the snowflake to appear at freezing, let's change the temperature to around zero. I'd like to add a new dependency for the opacity tribute, which should be zero so the snowflake is not visible. And here, somewhere, snowflake opacity should be 100%. Let's try this out in the simulator. As I drag the knob around, the display temperature changes, and the snowflake icon appears only in freezing temperatures. And you can still drag the whole card around because the first driver is still working, and the slot knob is interactive in all positions. So, that's how you use drivers in drama. Thanks for watching.